Hi and welcome to our channel. Loopring has been gaining momentum lately. Enthusiasm for the project is driven by an ever-increasing need for decentralized exchanges and the benefits they should bring to cryptocurrency users. Lower fees, safer exchanges and greater transparency are just some of the reasons why many projects are trying to develop DEX solutions. In this video, we take an in-depth look at the project, including technology, team members and competitors. Watch carefully so you don't miss the most important things. Loopring is a decentralized Ethereum-based exchange protocol that is created for users to exchange assets in different exchanges. Loopring itself is not a decentralized exchange, but instead will facilitate decentralized exchanges using order matching and ring splitting technologies. In short, it allows anyone to create high-performance, non-storage-based order book exchanges on Ethereum using zero-disclosure proofs. Thus, instead of simply acting as another decentralized exchange, Loopring aims to aggregate orders from as many exchanges as possible and then fill those orders by mapping them to the order books of all the exchanges that participate in the Loopring network. Loopring will allow both decentralized and centralized exchanges to participate in the Loopring network, giving all exchanges access to increased liquidity through some blockchains. It will also give investors access to the best pricing opportunities without having to cross-check several different exchanges. One of the benefits of using Loopring for traders is that they retain control of their funds, which are locked into a smart contract when orders are placed. This is a change in version 3.0 of Loopring that has been implemented to make the platform more secure. The system gives users full control over their funds and orders and allows them to increase, decrease or even cancel an order at any time before it is due. It is also comparable to the order flow seen on the centralized exchanges, making it more familiar to traders. When users are ready to place a trade, it is done through a loopring.io wallet and signed with the user's private key. The order is then transmitted to smart contracts in the Loopring network as well as to relay nodes outside the network. The smart contracts ensure that the fund in your wallet are properly exchanged for the coins you trade, while the off-network nodes maintain the order book and broadcast it to the ring miners. Ring miners are responsible for ensuring that orders can be fulfilled until the order is fulfilled or cancelled. Ring miners are compensated for performing this service either as a commission to the LRC or as a split margin on the amount of the order. The system ensures that miners are paid fairly for their services and gives them an incentive to find a better rate for traders since they can increase their margin if they find a better exchange rate. This also theoretically reduces any arbitrage opportunities since the protocol must always have a better trading volume. Once the miner completes processing in order, the Loopring smart contract checks to see if the order can be fulfilled. While everything is checked on both sides of the transaction, the smart contract hands over the appropriate coins to each side of the transaction. This swap is atomic and takes place directly from the smart contract to the wallet. Loopring 3.0 is the latest version of the protocol, which provides much better performance without compromising security. It was designed with two main goals in mind – performance and security. This ensures that users can always withdraw their capital, no matter what happens. Loopring 3.0 has moved most of the computation outside the network, which has greatly improved performance and costs. User account balances and transaction history are organized offline in a quad Merkle tree. All users' transactions and requests are grouped and processed in large batches offline with a state root after each bath process and then published to the blockchain. This allows state routes to be reconstructed and verified. These changes require some compromises. One was the orders are no longer distributed across multiple exchanges and must now be matched with a dedicated relay, and users now have have to put their assets into a smart contract to make them available for the order book. With Loopring 3.0 and OCDA enabled, up to 2,025 transactions per second are possible. If OCDA is disabled, which also causes security to be transferred to the consortium serving in data, throughput increases to 16,400 transactions per second. In comparison,
comparison, previous version of Loopring and most current DAX protocols can only conduct up to 3 trades per second. Loopring 3.0 allows DAX to match the performance of centralized exchanges. The idea of the centralized exchange is not new. Quite a few have been created over the past few years, both on and off Ethereum. The main problems facing all of these DAXs are low bandwidth and high cost. These scalability problems have prevented the DAX model from becoming widespread because professional traders and market makers cannot use DAX as their primary trading venue. Loopring was able to solve the scalability problems without sacrificing security. Bringing the ZK Relop approach to the DAX Loopring solves the problem that almost any other DAX faces. Using ZK Relop moves the computation out of the blockchain and translates only the state routes and corresponding proofs into the blockchain. This makes the Ethereum blockchain a data layer for a Loopring and provides throughput of up to 2,025 trades per second with data available on the network or up to 16,400 trades per second without OCDA. This also lowers Loopring's trade cost at $0.00015, which the team believes can be further optimized to $0.00075 shortly. The team believes this makes Loopring suitable for professional traders and organizations that may want to use trading bots and algorithmic trading methods. Loopring will be the first DAX to offer this functionality, and they believe it will finally make order book-based DAX commercially viable. This should soon lead to the displacement of centralized exchanges. When Loopring enters the realm of centralized and decentralized exchanges, it may seem that competition for them will be fierce. However, if you look closer, you will see that instead of being a competitor to exchanges, Loopring aims to be a partner of all exchanges, providing them with what they all need – liquidity. At first glance, it seems that 0x has the same goal as Loopring, but there is a key difference between the two. While 0x allows anyone to run a node as a decentralized exchange and all orders are processed offline but settled with the chain, 0x gets its liquidity only from exchanges set up on the 0x platform. This is a huge difference from Loopring, where liquidity comes from any exchange connected to the Loopring network. There are other competitors such as a Kyber network, Blocknet, and Bankwar. Kyber Network and Bancor have liquidity pools and order matching that enforces smart contract deals and block networks similarly only with order matching. No competitor can offer call orders created by Loopring matching. Loopring LRC is listed on several exchanges, but Bithump has the largest volume, followed by Dragon EX. You can also buy LRC on the Binance exchange. This will mean that you will have to first buy another cryptocurrency through a fiat gateway before you can purchase them. Neo Loopring LRN is only listed on Gate.io and Dragon EX, and almost the entire volume is listed on Gate.io. Both LRC and LRN can be purchased for EDH and USDT, and LRC can also be purchased for BTC. Since LRC is an ERC-20 token, it can be stored in any ERC-20 compatible wallet such as my other wallet or my crypto. Alternatively, you can go to the Loopring website and download the official wallet. Thanks for choosing us. Stay tuned for more videos.